Chapter three is about analysis approaches, nodal analysis and mesh analysis. The lab assignments associated with this chapter therefore emphasize the concept that physical measured voltages and currents in a circuit can be determined from the node voltages or mesh currents, but are not necessarily identical to node voltages or mesh currents themselves. These labs, therefore, are primarily intended to allow us to validate the results of our analyses rather than to introduce us to new experimental methods. We will, however, introduce in passing a couple of new experimental techniques in this video. In particular, we will use the analog discovery to create voltage sources in a circuit which provide in excess of positive or negative 5 volts. The individual analog discovery voltage sources available from the voltage and wave gen instruments are limited to the range of plus 5 to minus 5 volts relative to the analog discovery's ground. However, by clever application of the concept of ground, we can combine these sources to create circuits which appear to have sources which are outside this range. Here's a simple example of what I mean. We have a circuit which has an 8 volt source applied across a series combination of a 10 kilo ohm and 20 kilo ohm resistor. Obviously, we don't have the capability of applying 8 volts with any single voltage supply on the analog discovery. However, we have four voltage supplies, V plus and V minus on the voltmeter instrument and two channels on the wave gen instrument, which we can combine to create the desired 8 volt difference between nodes A and B. For example, we can create an 8 volt difference out of 5 volts and 3 volts. If we place the ground at this node, we can implement our 5 volt source with V minus on the voltage instrument and our 3 volt source with one of the waveform generator channels. Now, V sub BA is 8 volts, the same as it is on the circuit on the left. This configuration isn't unique. We could use two 4 volt sources. Both of these will be implemented with the waveform generator. This one will apply positive 4 volts relative to ground. This one applies negative 4 volts relative to ground. We still get 8 volts between B and A. Just to drive that point into the ground, we could switch our 5 and 3 volt sources. If ground is here, we can then use V plus to implement positive 5 volts here and one of the waveform generator channels to apply negative 3 volts relative to ground to A. Our voltage is still 8 volts between B and A. That's all our circuit cares about. Here's our implementation of the first circuit that we saw on our previous slide. The 10 kilo ohm resistor is here. The 20 kilo ohm resistor is here. We've grounded the terminal at which they're connected. We've used AWG1 to provide power to this terminal of this resistor and V- minus to apply power to this terminal of this resistor. To measure the voltage VBA, we connect the positive terminal of our DMM to this terminal and the negative terminal of our DMM to this terminal. And as you can see, we get an approximately 8 volt difference between nodes B and A. Here's a more complicated example with an 8 volt power supply. We don't have a single source on the analog discovery which will apply more than 5 volts relative to ground. However, notice that the circuit again doesn't care about the analog discovery's ground. It simply wants the voltage VAC to be 8 volts and VBC to be negative 2 volts. We can get around our difficulty by connecting the analog discovery's ground in a creative way. Let's take a look at this circuit. In this circuit, we've used three voltage supplies on the analog dis discovery to implement the two voltage supplies in the circuit on the left. Particularly notice where the analog discovery's ground is placed. With this placement of ground, we can use V plus to implement the positive 5 volt source relative to ground, V minus to implement the negative 5 volt source relative to ground, and one of the waveform generator channels to implement a negative 3 volt source relative to ground. Now, in this circuit, the voltage difference VAC is 5 volts plus 3 volts, which is 8 volts, and VBC is 3 volts minus 5 volts, which is our minus 2 volts, which is exactly what our original circuit wants. Here's our 10 kilo ohm resistor. This is our 20 kilo ohm resistor, and this is our 6.8 kilo ohm resistor. Ground isn't actually physically connected to any of these resistors now. We use VP minus to apply voltage to node B, we use VP plus to provide voltage to node A, and the arbitrary waveform generator 
applies voltage to node C. As you can see, the voltage between nodes A and C is about 8 volts, while the voltage difference between nodes B and C is about negative 2 volts.